up, YouTube? Topaz J saying I got a pretty good show lined up for you today, man. First, we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer C Fab. Then, we're going to jump into this review for this Dave East featuring Nas Forbes list. Then, we're going to take some questions. So this Dave East Forbes list, man, this shit is another fucking dope ass track here. Like the last one got me excited. This one got me motherfucking ready. I think the album's dropping on October the 2nd, man. Can't fucking wait for this shit now because he just delivers a raw fucking track right here. Now what the theme slash topic of this track is, is pretty much when you get that question, where do you see yourself in five to ten years type shit. He took that question and made a track about it, man. And where he sees himself is living the life of luxury and all of that shit and being on the Forbes list and all of that, man. And you know, did it to the right damn beat, man. Nas laid down an excellent fucking boss, man. This is definitely a track I recommend people to peep out, man, and definitely get hyped for this album because it is some of the best shit that I've heard from him. But anyway, on the ass download pass, and Easy Montana says that Chief Keep didn't make this album for me. Like, why do I have to slam it like that? I should have just moved on and shit, and you know what? Nah, bro. Because that's one thing that always kind of irked me. Like, if you ever watch the Food Network channel, watch like guys like Guy Freddy or some shit when he does drive-ins and dives and all of that shit, man. Like, he, every time he goes to a restaurant, he never talks that shit about how he really feel. Like, every restaurant that he goes to is always the best shit. And I've always found that to be fucking corny because I like to hear the real. And that's what I deliver on this channel, man. It doesn't matter the fucking genre because I listen to Trap, I listen to Drill, I listen to New West, I listen to South, I listen to every fucking thing. And I'ma deliver people the fucking truth whether you like it or you don't, dawg. And you can either respect it or ride out, dawg, because that's really on you. And Trilla True says, man, that he's been subscribed to me for some years and shit, man. And we have such different points of view when it comes to music. We have such different tastes and such, but yet he respects it. And you know, that's the grown ass motherfucking way to go about it. Like, all these other people sound like little kids being upset that I gave the favorite artist a negative fucking review instead of just respecting one person's opinion and just keeping it one fucking hundred, man. Because I got plenty of homies and shit that really don't enjoy the same music that I do. And we can sit there, we can argue about the shit, man. But ultimately, I respect the points of view. They respect my points of view, and that's how we get along. If you ain't on that level yet, man, you've got a lot of manning up to fucking do. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to downloadpads.com that's down there to read today's article.